The reason I like Waterbeck Valley, it is the tranquility. So there's lots of little aspects of the valley as you get to know it. If you want waters and streams, there's various bits you can go to. There's also some history bits in the, in the valley and also what the National Trust have done, for example, with the, uh, the Willow Crapo uh, uh, fed up from where I'm standing. So I spent um, quite a number of years down here um, when we put the Millennium Footpath in place, which is now 20 years old. And we learnt quite a lot, actually, about the nature of the valley, about the history of the valley. You can see red squirrels down here, you can see heron at the right times, all sorts of other bird life. And that for me, uh, when I was doing this in my sort of 30s, um, was actually learning a lot about nature that I didn't really know previously. To an extent prior to that, Waterworks Valley had been somewhere we'd occasionally come. There weren't really that many paths, there were some. And often you just drive through it. Whereas now, obviously what lots of people do is they walk it. Uh, there's quite a lot of information, there's quite a lot of history in the, in the valley as well for people to look at and understand. For me, for, for unwinding on, on the few times I did get during the crisis, was either going for a run, often on, on one of the beaches, uh, and also going for some walks. We actually forget sometimes not only the beauty of the island on the coast, but the inland beauty that this island has. And that's one of the things we're trying to share with people today and get people to recognise more. I think we've all had to change our habits a bit uh, from COVID-19. We're seeing a lot less cars being driven and that's what we'd like people to just come and explore this area and what we're trying to do is by, by making it um, closed on a Sunday to through traffic and giving priority to pedestrians and other non-vehicle users uh, just to start sharing that tranquility a bit more.